What movie has become your real life? My husband, the rock of our family, had been leading a double life for over 17 years. My heart shattered into a million pieces as I uncovered the ultimate cliché in my life. We had shared a beautiful marriage for 25 years. We'd raised three children together, two of whom were now in college while our youngest still lived at home. Beneath the surface of our seemingly peaceful life, a painful truth emerged. We were not his only family. Mark, my husband, worked as an insurance broker with multiple branches across the country. His job required him to spend a week on and a week off in different cities. I had always trusted him completely, never doubting his loyalty. Little did I know that during his week off, he was building a life with another woman and their two children in Albuquerque. This was where his other branch was located. I only found out one day, while creating a new Facebook account. I searched for my husband's profile. To my shock, another profile with a different last name popped up. As I delved deeper, I discovered links to his fiancés and his other children's Facebook profiles. It was undeniable proof of his deceit. With trembling hands and tears streaming down my face, I scrolled through the photos on his other profile. There they were, images of him happily dining with the other family. Another showed him embracing his fiancée and kissing her. What hurt the most? The pictures of him playing the role of a devoted father to children who bore an uncanny resemblance to him. My entire world crumbled around me. I was broken beyond measure. Conflicting emotions gripped me. Part of me longed to confront him, to scream in his face for destroying our life together. But another part of me wanted to bury this painful truth, to pretend to be ignorant and maintain the facade of a peaceful family. He's good with our kids, he's the main source of financial income, he's loving, but he's also all those things to another family. Not only would I be tearing a gaping hole into my family, I'd be opening up a vortex for them too. My heart ached, and I found myself drowning in an ocean of tears. Our youngest son was away on a graduation trip with his friends, leaving me alone to face the aftermath of this earth-shattering revelation. There I sat at home, just waiting for my lying, cheating, dastard husband to walk through the door. My life felt absolutely wrecked. It's literally a movie plot. I hoped that he would just come home and it'd be a big misunderstanding. I hoped there would be some logical explanation as to why he's kissing a woman with a ring on her finger. I didn't know what to do anymore. I was tempted to just pack a bag and just leave. I can't be in the home where we've raised our kids. Where we've spent every Christmas for the last 25 years. Where I've been alone on New Year's taking care of our babies, while he works his butt off. I just can't. I wanted to leave a note for him to come home to. I wanted to hurt him like he hurt me, but I didn't think it was possible. How could mere words convey the depth of pain and betrayal I felt? Days turned into weeks, and I remained lost in a sea of confusion and heartache. Seeking guidance, I reached out to a lawyer to understand the legal process involved in a situation like this. Gathering evidence became my mission. I was tasked with securing photos of the other Facebook profiles, saving text messages, and collecting recent flight information. These would serve as crucial evidence when we eventually entered the painful realm of divorce proceedings. I also reached out to the other woman, his fiancé. I mustered the strength to explain the situation. She was equally as distraught. Thankfully, she was financially independent and shared no property with him, making the separation more straightforward for her.